so hey guys welcome to our youtube channel so in the previous video we have discussed the basic uh, ideas and facts of our solar system and now in this video we are going to learn the origin of our solar system and the nebular model so this is video number 12 and for any suggestion requirements you can mail us on this email id so several ideas were proposed regarding the origin of our solar system and uh, all these ideas or theories can be classified into two types one is catastrophic and another is gradualistic so let us first discuss the catastrophic theory so according to the catastrophic theories all the planets of our solar system were from out of the materials ejected from the sun when a giant comet or something like that collided with it or the planets came into being due to the ripping off of ripping off of materials from the sun caused by the massive tides generated by a close by passing star so basically catastrophic theory tells us that the, all the planets in our solar system are made from the remains of the sun however these theories do not however these theories do not explain many features of our solar system and further during the 20th century astronomical evidences have been found which support the gradualistic theory so, so let us discuss what is the gradualistic theory. So according to this theory, formation of planets is a gradualist, gradual and continuous process and the planets are the natural byproduct of the formation of stars like the sun and the others. Gradualistic theories of the solar system are, are based on the nebular hypothesis. Now let us discuss what is nebular model. So according to this hypothesis, the sun as well as the planets formed form an interstellar cloud of dust and gas which are normally which are just roaming in the universe so a model of the formation of the solar system based on this hypothesis is called a nebular model that is the interstellar cloud of cl gas gas and dust so the basic principle of physics underlying the nebular model is the newton's law of gravitation so according to the nebular model formation of stars including the sun begins when the interstellar cloud with enough mass and low internal pressure contracts due to its own gravity and this increases the density of the cloud and as the density of the clouds increases the collision between the particles starts and this increases the kinetic energy of the particles in the cloud this is basically the schematic diagram of how a star is formed from the nebular theory this is a interstellar cloud of gas and dust so it due to gravitational due to gravity it starts contracting and uh, then the collision between the its different particles star, uh, takes starts and the kinetic energy of the mm, uh, uh, particles increases and this increases the temperature of the cloud and at a time reach where the gravitational collapse is balanced by the internal pressure of the uh, of the gas clouds and uh, then at a time reach where the temperature is so high that the thermonuclear fusion reaction taking starts and the newly full fledged star is formed so this is the basic basic schematic diagram of a, the formation of so let us discuss how our solar system came into existence so according to the nebular model our solar system formed due to the gravitational contraction of the rotating interstellar cloud called the solar nebula so due to rotation the solar nebula takes the form of a disk so here you can see that so due to rotation the nebula just takes the form of a disk and when the sun forms at the center of the disk and becomes luminous enough the remaining gas are and dust was pushed away due to the sun's intense radiation pressure so once the once the sun once the star or the sun becomes the luminous enough it uh, pushes away all the other stars away from it and this uh, blown away gas and dust contents into various planets orbiting sun orbiting the sun and the, the remaining uh, materials from the nebula clouds becomes planets which orbit the sun and this orbits the sun because uh, because the original nebular disk was rotating so formation of solar nebular disk so we have noted that one of the significant features of the solar nebular model is the formation of a disk of interstellar cloud around the sun so is there any evidence supporting the formation of the disk so there are two evidence supporting this assumption 
So, firstly, as you know, that the orbits of the planets, except that for Mercury and Pluto, lie in nearly the same plane. plane. Such coplanar planetary orbits are consistent with the formation of the nebular disks. And secondly, the rotation of the Sun and the revolution of the planets is along the same direction, and their equatorial planes are very close to the plane of the solar system. And thus, the motion of the Sun and the planets are consistent with the disk hypothesis. So the nebula tells so the nebula model tells us accurately how our solar system was formed rather than the catastrophic model so this is for today's video thank you for watching this video and if you subscribe and like our video then it will be very much motivational for us so thank you for watching this video